In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create the screen hologram effect in DaVinci Resolve. So for this effect, I have these two footages on my timeline. And the first one is basically our footage in the background, which is a person using a phone. And as you can see that it is just scrolling down the Instagram feed. And the second footage I have over here is a screen recording of someone scrolling down their Instagram feed. So basically, these two are the footages that we need for this effect to work. Make sure you have one footage where someone is using or using their phone or scrolling down some application or using an application. And the other is the screen recording of that, which is a separate footage. But right now, as you can see that my footages do not match. So basically the footage being used in the background, something is something else is going on over there. Like there is a different Instagram feed in the background and on the top, the screen recording I have is also some different sort of Instagram feed. So both do not match, but just to show you how this effect works, I'm going to just go ahead and use them. So. For my case, the footages do not match, but if you want something to look more accurate, you can just go ahead and use same kind of footages. So for the purpose of the, this video, I'm just going to use these two because this is all I could find. Now select both of these and let me just go ahead and make a copy just in case. So by pressing Alt and dragging the footages, you can create a copy in DaVinci Resolve. So this is the copy that I created and this is just so that you can always go back if something messes up. So just in case. Now select both of your footages and right click and you will get an option of new fusion clip. Click on this and this will create a fusion composition with both of your footages in place. Now make sure that you have this selected and go over to the fusion tab. Now here you will see that you get both of your footages connected to a media out. So the first media in that we have, if you select this and press one, you will see that this is the footage in the background. And the second one, you press one over here. Now you will see that this is the screen recording that we have on top of it. Now, first thing that we need to do is let's just go ahead and select our media in two, which is the screen recording. And in order for it to match our screen, which is basically someone using a phone and as you can see, they are holding the phone and it is in a different perspective. So we want our screen recording to also match. And for in this case, it is more like a 3D kind of perspective that we need. So in order to work with that, first of all, unselect or disconnect your media in two, which is basically the screen recording. and click on this image plane 3D. And if you click on this, this will get connected to your footage. Now also go ahead and make sure that you have this image plane 3D selected. Press control space and search for renderer 3D. Click on this and this will get attached to the image plane 3D. The reason we do this is because whenever you are working with 3D, in DaVinci Resolve, you always need to add a renderer 3D in order to get an output. If you won't add this renderer 3D, this will not work or this will not give you the output that you want. So now that we have these connected, connect this renderer 3D to the merge and this will give you your screen recording. And now go over to image plane and from here you can go over to transform and change the scale like this. So now what we can do is we can change the rotation as well. So let me just change the Z axis like this and the Y axis as well just slightly so that this matches the perspective of our phone in the background. So over here looks good and you can always decrease it so make sure that this is matching your footage in the background that you have. 
and you can also position this from this translation as well along the x-axis and the y-axis so this looks okay all right so now if we play this you will see that we get the footage in the background as well as the screen recording on top but now we need to add some effects to it so let's just go ahead and select our media in and right before this image 3d or render 3d just select your media in tool and press Control space and now the first thing that we need to add is a shadow so click on the shadow and this will give you this shadow panel and over here just go ahead and increase the softness all the way to the maximum and change the shadow color to white or what you can do is you can select this in and you can just go ahead and select any color but if this does not work just go ahead and click on this white over here and this will pop up this color tab for you and from here you can click on pick screen color and from here you can go ahead and select color from your screen and this is very useful for keeping the same kind of color scheme within your footages so this looks much better and another thing that we need to add over here is the glow so select this shadow and once again control press control space and now search for soft glow so over here you will see that we have soft glow just add this and now decrease the gain enough so that this looks normal and natural or it goes with the effect and you can also change the blend so this is up to you but just make sure that you don't overdo it or underdo it so just right here just the minimum gain would be enough okay so now go over to image plane 3d and over here in the material section you can decrease the opacity enough so that this will look like it is a kind of a hologram so you can just adjust it accordingly and for me this is working somewhere around 0 0.8 so let's just keep this at 0 0.8 and now play this and you will see that we are getting that hologram kind of effect that we want but now let's go ahead and add an animation and to do that let's go over at 10 and over here in the image plane 3d let's go over to transform and create keyframes at scale first of all and also on the translation as well so make sure all of these are keyframed at 10 or wherever you want to appear this animation to and now let's go all the way to zero and let's create a keyframe by reducing the scale of this and also the x-axis and let's go all the way to the zero so now if we play this it will look like something popping out of your phone like a screen popping out so that's sort of an effect that we were going for and now go over and go over to spline and you can now set the keyframes and let's select all of these make sure all of these are selected and you can just press s on your keyboard so this will ease in and if we play this now okay. so this looks much better and if we go back to our main timeline and if we play this from here you will see that we get our effect So here you can see we have a nice looking screen hologram kind of effect that is popping out from the phone in our footage. So I hope you like the video and for this video I did not select similar footages. So th this is just to show you how you can do this effect. But if you are going to make this and you want the footages to be same. So basically you want the same screen or the same recording going on in the background 
in your phone and also on the hologram that we want to pop out from. So you can go ahead and select same footages, similar footages. But for this video, for the purpose of this video, I just went ahead and selected different footages because the purpose of this video was just to show you how this will work. So I hope you like the video and I'll see you in the next one.